for the medals. And soap is there, Ashwin. Soap, under hands. Ha. Ha. Make any kind of a grip just to borrow some time. I can't bicep curl with the wrist to the shoulder, but I can always bicep curl with shoulder to the wrist. Chest down. That takes away the finishing ability. If you can't see what's happening to his right, towards his right, there's a lot of pressure. Tap my grip, very much. Chest forward, forward, forward. Get the arm. Maybe he can see Amba, I wasn't there. I move in. I'm gonna sprawl to kill this. What am I killing? I'm not doing anything with this arm. This is all dead. But I'm killing the armpit space from there. But if you make a hollow with your body, to pull this back, everyone makes a hollow as if they want to run away. See how heavy he'll be lashed onto this. This is where Ambar finishes with a little damage. So rather than making a hollow, wash it forward. let him finish just so we can see the importance of sprawling forward. Okay. If I'm sprawling, what's the point? When you sprawl, wait to see the effect. What's the effect for a sprawl? What did it do to him? You can't just be doing sprawl and running around. It's going to end up into one of the submissions. And your partner will think they do better than it's Technically, they didn't do anything. They're just sticky. You made them transition into this. This goes with everything. Whether you're defensive, whether you're escaping, you're attacking, you're going to S mount, side control, Joe, you are. One step, breathe. Two step, breathe. That breathe is the pause. Don't just hold your breath and run around just because you see, okay, I can run around. Utilize this moment. Okay? In just a sphere of juice. Let it happen. Go. I'm here. Shoulder goes forward. Sprawl. Now from here, just because there is space here, I don't want to walk. You're overdoing things. Look at this. Let his knees fall on the mat. That itself is a pass. Why should I run? Because if I run, all the pressure from his upper body or his shoulder gets away. 